Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Pure Isis Stadette with Red and this is for Gwendolyn. I've started off with American Classics Yellow Stopper and on some of my nails I'm wearing this Pure Ice color called Devious and then I'm going to be using Pure Ice Stadette. So little the camera's not picking it up. So here we go. I've already got my base coat down and dry and now we're going to go in with Devious from the simple colors. It's a very beautiful polish. It's got a really nice formula on it. And it's just a beautiful Christmas red. I own a lot of red nail polish for somebody that claims not to really wear red very much. And this one's definitely a keeper. It's it's a good one. Nice leveling formula. I'm digging it. Capping my tip. There we go. And we're going to go in with our first coat of Studette. And this is just beautiful. It's a gold glittery polish, but it's got little bitty tiny red glitters in it. And it just pops. It is so beautiful. I remember when I swatched these for the haul video. I was really impressed with this one and couldn't wait to wear it. So today's the day. It's beautiful. You can see those little red glitters popping out a little bit. Mm. I had to break Woody out. Just a little bit. Alright, we're going to let this dry down. And now we're going to go in with our second coat of Devious. I'm really impressed with um, some of these drugstore polishes. Simple Colors and Pure Ice both are just really great polishes. They've got, you know, excellent formulas and I just don't think they get enough love. I know they are getting more love here on YouTube now and Instagram and stuff, but they really, really do a good job. And for the price point, you can't beat it. I mean... They're both like a couple of bucks a piece. It's awesome. I am just so in love with this gold polish. Uh, look at that. Oh my. Blinktastic. I've done a little bit of cleanup off camera. And I'm going to go in with some posh top coat. And seal these in. And get them to dry down. Because I do plan on doing a little bit of stamping. On the red nails. And um... You know, I want to be able to remove that stamp image if it's, you know, not, then turn out good. I want to be able to remove it. And if you do a nice top coat, you can do that a lot of times. Another thing good about this studette was that the glitters weren't bumpy. So using just a regular top coat, one good coat of it, um, just smoothed it all out and it was just smooth as glass. Here's Woody again. There we go. And that looks beautiful all on its own. Today I'll be using Beauty Big Bang 11 and I'm just going to use this kind of swirly, leafy, viney looking pattern. And I'll be using Tempting by Revlon to stamp with. It's not a stamping polish, but we like it. And I'll be using my little Conad stamper and my clear jelly scraper today. I like this Revlon Miss Debbie from Sister Chic sent it to me. Um, and it's really nice for if you want like light stamping and you don't want it to just overtake the base color. It's really great for that. And I've really been enjoying it. See how beautiful that is? I love it. Debbie knows her stuff. I mean, she really does. She has sent me some amazing things that I probably would have never tried. I would have looked at this Revlon and thought, eh, I got gold. I don't need gold. But she sent it to me, and I'm finding myself using it quite a bit. Cleaning that plate off in between with some pure acetone and a cotton ball. Using my cotton claw.
And I just really like this. I like the look of it. It's beautiful, but not too bad in your face. Not like a neon or something or a total glitter bomb. But you got that glittery accent now going on. Love it. Here we go. We're going to get this pinky. And ta-da. Everything is stamped. Beautimus. And I am going to go in with a piece of tape and just try to get up as much of that excess polish that's on my fingers. And this comes up pretty well with the tape. I mean, you know, I did go in with my, here we go, with my cleanup brush and some acetone. And I just think this is a really elegant Christmas look without it just being, you know, all Santa Claus and you know, candy canes and stuff. I really, I really do like the look of it. I'm going to top it off with some posh top coat. I just love it. Love that glossy top coat going over the top, making it just look so pretty. Well, before we get to the end of this video, I would like to remind you that if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And um, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this manicure. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.